Hello everybody, here we have the uh, DXR2 Dozer upgrade blade. So we'll be unboxing the upgrade blade. So we'll, uh, let's have a little look inside. Okay. That's our high density foam packaging, which is very good. Now, uh, there we have in this part all of the, um, the little cutting edges. So pull those out. And there we have all of our cutting edges. One here has already come loose in the box. There it is. And another corner chip there somewhere. So we'll just put those away and keep unboxing. Right. We have a bag of nuts and bolts for those cutting edges. Actually, there's another corner chip there somewhere. You can see the blade sitting in the box. Okay, there we go. That's the blade. Nice, well constructed. Looking very good. Looking forward to um, seeing how it looks on the on the dozer itself. And um, put the blade up. There we there we have it. Okay, laid out the box now, so we just lay out our cutting edges and have a good look at all of our parts that were included. So there we have two corner tips and five cutting edges, bolt on through to the, the mold board. Set of um, nuts and bolts here to assemble it. So well constructed looking blade, looks the part. Unlike the um, standard dozer part, we'll um, we'll do a we'll do a comparison. So let's have a look at the DXR2 here and the difference in the blade. So obviously the uh, the blade is an upgrade version and much higher quality and um, there's a bit of cost in, involved definitely. But there's a bit of a comparison with our current blade here. There you can see it's much more authentic looking. The uh, other blade is very, very basic in construction. A little bit of detail, but the sides aren't very authentic. And compared to the um, upgrade blade, very authentic in its in its curves and shape. Uh, a bit of a size comparison there for the for the width. So you can see it is slightly wider than the um, standard blade. And Looking at for height wise, you know, pretty, pretty much similar for the mold board and then the uh, rock guard sits, a, sits above it. Good detailing on the rock guard. Okay, so here on in, we'll have a look at the uh, side of the blade. I'll just turn those around and significant, this will make a significant look difference to the, the machine. And you start to see the, um, the detail of the side, correct angles, the looking of the blade will make a big difference to the uh, the look of the entire machine. So I'll um, do a little bit of work, put some cutting edges on, and uh, we'll look at installing it to the um, on the machine and see how it looks on the machine. Okay, we've uh, disassembled the connections to the current blade, and we'll just do a little comparison here. So there we have the standard, real basic looking blade from the DXR2. Just going to set it up. We might just do a little weigh comparison here. We'll get it into view. So I've undone all the connections just sitting in front. So there we have the standard blade. Put it back on and pretty much 2448. So all about two and a half kilos in the, the original standard blade. So if I compare, let's have a look at the new U blade. And uh, there we have it, set it up, and that's um, 3034, so pretty much 500, nearly 600 grams um, different. So uh, we'll have a bit of a look here, and uh, there we are, lining it up, getting ready to fit. And uh, you can see there, colour matches a little off, but... Doesn't really matter too much once we get her in the dirt. Um, a little bit of colour won't make any difference in that space. It's pretty close, but um, 
All right, there we are, another little comparison on the size of the blade. So there you have it, the upgrade blade fitted to the DXR2 dozer. All fitted in there now, fitted quite perfectly. Nice uh, fitment and clearance on the pin, so all looked very good. Uh, time to give it a test run, I would think. Okay, let's power up. Controller on first, as always. Battery in, power up. ESC bips, they're all sounding good. Let's have a look. We might as well use the noise. Let's start it up. Uh, I've got single stick control, a mix, and hydraulics on demand sort of setup. So, uh, my hydraulics on this one, that's half speed for a response, and there we have DXR2 blades, first movement. Looking good. A little bit of um, more tilt one way than the other, so I'll have to adjust that diagonal brace that's on the side there, look around. This one will need adjusting, so that looks like it's um, not a bad pitch to the ground at that. So it will lay it back a little bit more when I shorten that brace and provide it with a little bit more pitch. But uh, that'll be just remove the pin, wind the turnbuckle back. And, right, just wind the turnbuckle back, left and right threads. And let's just see if we can make that about the same. Extend it a bit. Alright, there's level. Down. Little lift. Down. That's pretty close. Now we have centered. And there's a single stick of bone. Let's have a look at the blade movement. Looking good. Keen to look at a dual tilt option for this as a modification. We'll have a look at it from the back. Line up on the camera, directly behind. Looking good. That's my pump speed on the dozer. The dozer's never been in the dirt. It'll take the new blade to work. Successful bench test. Now I think it'll be off to the dirt. <laughs> 